Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, I wanna show you this app called Photoshop Camera. It's a camera app, so you could use it to capture pictures, but you could also use it to retouch images to make them better, enhancing images. And there's a bunch of filters and lenses, like if you've ever used Instagram to add filters to your images, Photoshop Camera has some super advanced filters that I think you're really gonna like. So let's jump into the phone so I could show you exactly how to use this app. You could look for it in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Again, it's called Photoshop Camera. And when you first jump into the app, you do have to log in with an Adobe account. So if you don't have an Adobe account, just go ahead and create one. Then let me show you the homepage. And this is basically the homepage of the app. So let me show you what you're looking at here. On the left side here, that's where you would apply your lenses. So the stars here will let you apply the different lenses and filters here but I'm gonna press X and in the middle you could take a picture, but let me show you what it does when you take a picture of yourself. So you can look at the camera, I'll take a picture and then it automatically will put it in this page and all your pictures will appear here, but you also have access to the camera roll. So you could press that and upload a picture here too. So a couple of different ways to enhance a picture. And then you could go ahead and click on one of these pictures and as you can see, automatically, it does its best of retouching that image. Very useful. So look at the before. You see that little icon on top. If I press it, this is before, this is after. It just really makes the image pop. You can manually also touch up the image. So the sliders here, you could click those. And you could adjust things manually, like the shadows. I'm on the shadow tab. There's highlights. There's clarity, vibrance. So you could go ahead and play with these a little bit. So if you want to make things more vibrant and colorful, you could do that. So a bunch of different manual filters here, but the auto works pretty well. Let me go back on this page and let's do one from the camera roll here. So I'll go to the camera roll tab. Let's bring in this image. And as you could see, the auto filter works so great. Again, this is before you still have the slider control and you see the PSX. If you press that, that will open up Adobe Photoshop Express, a different app if you wanna do more advanced editing to your image. In this case, I'm okay with just using this app to touch up my image. Now this is just using the camera to take a picture of yourself or to upload one of your images and then touch it up here and then you could download it. So the download icon is on the bottom, just press that. And then you could save it to your camera roll or to your phone's photo library here. And you could see the different types of sizes. So it tells you for Instagram, there's a couple of different sizes for Instagram. There's the square for Instagram. You could just easily use your finger here to crop the image a little bit differently. You have nine by 16, which is commonly used for TikTok and vertical type formats. You have 16 by nine for video type formats and YouTube thumbnails, for example. Or you have free form, which lets you just use your finger here to shape your image any way you want and then go ahead and save to camera roll and it saves it to your phone. So it's that simple to use the camera option of the app and then enhancing images that way. But now let me show you the filters, which is so powerful compared to the other apps that are out there. Let's go back to the homepage. I'll press X here. Now let me press the three stars here on the homepage to show you the lenses and filters. Press that. And as you can see on the bottom, this is the original that we were on, which is no filter at all. Then you have portrait, which kind of gives a nice effect to your image. You could also on the home page here, slide left and right to get different portrait effects. There's five of them right now that I'm recording this that give a different effect to your image. Then there's a lot more advanced filters like this one here. Again, you could go ahead and go left and right. Most of these filters have multiple different versions to them that you could apply here. Another great thing this app does is it recognizes what you're taking a picture of. So if you're taking a picture of food, for example, it's gonna take the best guess of what you're taking a picture of and then apply a filter that way. So the food filter here is not working very well on my face, but again, you could just go ahead and use the filters based on what you're taking a picture of. You could always press add more here on the bottom and it takes you to the lens library. Again, there's a bunch more here you could manually add and then you could on top, you see I'm on, under the all lenses tab. I could go to manage lenses and move things around. So if I use the food one more, I could go ahead and grab that and bring it all the way on top over portrait, which was by default the first lens or filter here that I was using. Anytime from this page too, you could access it too. That's the globe icon on top. You could go there to manage your lenses here. So the lenses are accessible on this with the three stars to show up on the bottom. 
where you could simply apply them or if you want to manage them go to the globe tab here and you can manage your lenses and you could obviously rotate your camera here that's the top option where it lets you rotate your camera back and forth you have the three dots here where you could change your aspect ratio here if you wanted to change it and turn off flash and then there's the settings option and that's the basic overview of using the Photoshop camera app. And I think if you use it often and use the filters, you'll find that you're probably not gonna find filters like that in other apps. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of it for the filters and the retouching that it does, the automatic enhancement it does to images by itself without you really having to know those manual controls. It's very, very useful. Thanks so much for watching this video. I post these type of videos every single day on this channel and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.